Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm out here today with uh, Kurt and Cindy from Colorado. All right, and check this out. First fish of the day. First fish of the day, yellowtail snapper. All I'm right. Back and get what, your daddy. What'd you catch him on? I caught him on a shrimp with a little lead head yellow jig. All right, there we go. That's nice. So I met these guys bridge fishing the other day and it just so happened they had Saturday free and I had Saturday free so we're out here learning about each other and catching a few fish. Need a shrimp? Oh yeah. I here you go. I got one in my hand. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, here goes Kurt on the second cast of the day. Just flipping it out there behind the boat. We've got them chummed up pretty good. It looks like the yellow brick road behind us. What you got? I Another got yellow tail. There we go. Tail. That's how we get it fired up. <laughs> All right. Nice. They got to be 12. Is I, I usually like to keep them at 13 or 14. They make a sandwich or two then. <laughs> at 12 inches, they're like cleaning bluegills and it's not much fun. Not much fun. So uh, would you scale these and fillet them or? I, I would scale them and get them and cook them whole. Okay. Or I would fillet them and uh, make a bunch of tacos out of them. They're pure white meat. They're very, very good. Okay, third cast of the day. Let's see what happens. The fishing is on fire today. They're down there tearing it up. They, they cleaned you quickly. They are hungry. This is what it's all about. <laughs> just, it's just bending the rod. Oh, but Kurt told me about fishing is... Jerk on one end of the line, waiting for a jerk on the other. Yeah. Yep, that's a good way to say it. There we go, another cast. There's the bite. You can see it. They're they're pecking at it. They cleaned him again. These guys. They're masters. Yeah. Same technique. I've got a pretty light rod up there with a small hook okay. and you won't hardly miss. Right, but, open the bail. But, nah, we're looking we're looking for the big ones here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a big one. He's a monster. Stock your aquarium. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta calm him down. He's he not liking being hooked. He, she can't see it in your hand. Oh. That's a baby fish. <laughs> they don't like being hooked. They do not like it, but they're fun to hook. They're fun to hook. See ya. We went on the uh, the party charter out of Robbie's the other day and uh, didn't do anything. Well, that's because they weren't fishing with Cousin Jim. That's oh, that's right. right. Cousin fishing with Jim. Cousin Jim, highly recommend. I saw something bigger cruise past. Yeah, they're down there. I saw a Cerro Macro go past. You hook him and you'll know it. And they're like torpedoes in the water. Exactly. Then. Yeah. They will smoke that reel. And speaking of smoking that reel, before you cast in, I better check that drag one time. Okay. See how fast. Oh, oh. all right. All right. Like quick release. Like quick that. release. Good job. <laughs> I like fillet and release, though. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Throw your byproducts overboard for bigger fish, right? Exactly. Now, is it uh, against the law to clean fish out here as you're taking them or what? Probably because they can't identify the species when you get in. You know, you can gut them. Right, right, but not yeah. ready for but table, so to speak. Not ready for table. They yeah. just do not like that one bit. Wow, that's probably the same one, hon. Huh? Maybe, he wanted more. <laughs> he just There's they're here. He didn't they're, get off as easy though. So. They're getting sta they're getting oh, stacked up behind us. Oh yeah. They're stacking up. They got about ten. That's cool. Oh, he still got some meat on there. That guy didn't take it off. Okay, so now you got this. We need a cane pole for this. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> But, it's like crappie fishing, right? Yeah. Fish in a barrel, is that what they say? Yep. No, ain't crappie. It's like right. shooting fish in a barrel. One time I caught a hundred bluegills with, you know, there were several of us. And we were going to have a nice fish fry. I never want to clean 100 fish again in my oh. life. 
Okay, so this school looks like it's a pile of smaller ones. Pile of but, babies. But what we're going to do is Elementary I'm going to... Elementary school, that's what we got here. I'm going to put a uh, bigger bait right down there on the bottom. All right. And we'll see what happens. Keep him because there's no size limit. There's a grunt. That, and he's grunt. He likes to eat grunt. He's grunt. Hey, listen to Grunt him. and grits is a southern, it's a southern delicacy. Oh my god. Did you he hear does, him grunt? Oh, yep, he does grunt. <laughs> Love the colors on him. Yeah, there's lots of yellow and blue up there in the head. Come on, let go now. Do you want to keep him? No. Yeah. Do they get much bigger than this? I've caught them 27 inches. No kidding. My yeah, goodness. so some bigger ones are showing up. Good. Yeah, that's good news. Last few weeks, Come fishing on. has been miserable. So anyways, we're getting bites over here. I got a filleted ballyhoo laying out there on the bottom. And uh, what's happening right now is the little fish are picking at the, the wings on him. And they can't eat the whole thing, so hopefully... He'll get the attention of something bigger that can eat the whole thing and we'll be hooked up. That's our plan. And Kurt still. Stay tuned. Are, are you getting one every cast? Every cast? cast. As long as I hook it right, they don't pull it he, off. He just caught a pretty nice yellow tail, that's for sure. Oh, he can clean me as soon as I say, as long as I hook it right. It's amazing. It's amazing. And they stopped, now they've stopped pecking at this. So that e either means they they got that whole thing off the hook, or a big fish came in and the little ones have all scattered. They saw danger, yep. Yes. That's what I call it. There we go. That's a decent sized grunt. You know, they get twice that big or so, but yeah. but you can see how four or five of those yeah, and a, and a couple of pancakes and a bowl of grits and you got breakfast. I moved it over to here. Okay. I dropped it in the sand right here behind the boat, gotcha. you know, because you've got the fish balled up on your side. So I just figured anything big enough to, to be interested in what you're catching would come cruising in and probably go across that sand. And you'll probably see it on its way. Maybe. Too much. But I've uh, it's been long enough without a bite. I believe I don't have any bait. All right, we got another species here. This is a schoolmaster snapper. Oh. So he only has to be 10 inches. Yeah, okay. And, and he's probably there, but you guys are headed back to Colorado in the morning, so. Right. No reason to keep a pile of fish, so <laughs> we're gonna let him grow bigger. Let him grow up. He got a little bigger. Oh, he got teeth too. Look at the teeth in there. That's why they call him a snapper. Put right. your finger in there and you'll know. No, sir. There he goes. <laughs> Kurt got this one on a strip of ballyhoo. And it's a oh, oh quick loose. release. It was a really nice looking yellowtail. He must have been 20 inches or so. Yeah, it is. So to catch these ballyhoo when they get stacked up behind the boat like that, uh -huh. can either take that rod and catch them one at a time. Right. Or if I get lucky, I'll catch half a dozen at once. I just got to let the wind blow this back there and when they get between it pull it in come on belly who come in front of this net you're so freaking close there's one coming oh you got a couple What do we got this time, Kurt? I'm not sure yet. Jim, oh, another yellowtail. Oh, it's another oh, little yellowtail. Oh, he sucked it down. Yeah, he did. Oh, well. <laughs> I think we can Here. get it back, though. It's, all, it's still only yellowtail. I had a bigger piece of bait on. And he's not really any bigger, is he? No, he got shoulders, though. Hold still, boy. Hold on, I gotta settle him down. All right. All right, Kurt just got a new species, a mangrove snapper. Fourth species. <laughs> Look Man. at the teeth in that mouth. Now, let me hold it out here. It looks bigger. 
So it's really too windy of a day to be out here fishing, but what do you think? We're fishing. We're fishing. Exactly. <laughs> this is good. And more than fishing, you're catching. That's we're right. Catching. We are catching. Enjoying ourselves. Watch how quick this is. I'm glad Cousin Jim decided to come down to the Channel 2 bridge the other day. Yep, yeah. it worked out. It worked out wonderfully. So there, we just dropped dropped it in the water. We got a pile of fish loaded up behind us. And... There you got me. He got stripped that fast. I like shrimp too. I can't, can't see why they don't like it. They love it. Yeah, There's a bite. Okay, whatever it was will come back. He had a hold of it, that's for sure. He did have a hold of it. Heard, is this a little better than the last spot? It is. What you got? Got a mutton. Is that a mutton with the dot on it? That is a mutton. He isn't big enough to keep. Set that rod in the rod holder. That'll make it real easy for you. Then you're halfway done. That's a new species though. That's number five. Yeah, Cindy. Got him. Oh yeah, that's good. Here. It's a good looking fish. Toss him over those motors. I don't know. There he goes. Nice. Fish on. All right. Oh, a good flash there. There you go. Yeah. Flip him up here. Yeah, Get him in the boat. Tail. Look at that. Ooh. Is that, that is a keeper yellowtail. Look here, Reifenberger. Hold on, Reifenberger. I'm trying not to go overboard. <laughs> Slide that rod down a little yeah. deeper in the hole. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, he ain't, he's getting ready to come off. So yeah, that Somebody is... else hooked him. Look, he's got a line coming out of him. I see that. That's not our line. Let's uh, throw him in the ice chest. He'll Absolutely. get eaten. In the motor. Oh, it's okay. Keep, okay. keep reeling, keep reeling. Is he gonna come up between these motors? Keep reeling. What you got? Keep reeling. Here he comes. He's up. I got him. All right, we got another keeper flag yellowtail. So how did you like that? That was fun. Look at him out there. A huge fight. It's amazing how strong they are for yeah, their size. They are strong. The drag was set pretty light, but it's okay. Just fight him on in. He'll keep coming. What is he, what you got? Oh, nice looking yellow tail. Nice one. He's a dandy. That's the size we want. Nice. Good job, Kurt. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, see that boy. He got him okay? I got him okay. Okay. He'll go in the box. Get my legs about me. We don't have to measure him, so he can go in the box. Oh, oh. I missed. Nice throw. I know. Very good. Fish turn. There you go, Cindy. Come on, get it, babe. We need help. Come on, Greg. We need help. On. On. We don't have enough hands. Oh, He's on him. there. She Just... don't ever see legs. Lift up. Just. Lift up, keep lifting. There yeah, you go. Your pole. Lean against, pole. put your back against it. There you go. Hook your arm against it. Oh yeah, you got him. Now hold the rod tip out over this way, just a little bit, and he won't come up between the motors. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> How you doing, Cindy? Oh, I'm good. I'm fighting it. You are fighting it. Oh. What you got? <laughs> a monster yeah. yellow tail. Yeah. Good job, girl. Oh, good job, Woo. Cindy. You're wrapped into the coral. Oh, what did you catch there? That looks like a elk. Looks like a coral. That looks like a big old elk. Yes, sir. That's hilarious. It's incredible. All right, well, let's uh, catch and release on that guy. Catch and release coral. <laughs> okay, we can see Kurt is getting bites on the end of that rod. There's, oh, there he is. On. He's on. Right. We got the hook up in this one. Good job, Kurt. What is this one? A little smaller. Oh, he was pulling so hard because he was hooked uh, to the right side of his head. Oh, yikes. Yep. That worked. There you go, buddy. 
Yeah, meet some of the locals and they're not afraid to share and take you out on the boat. He just hooked up. Okay, He's Kurt, you are up. Uh, I'm Here, sorry, right, this is all baby, yours. Baby. Thanks for calling, honey. There's another smutton. All right, this is the last piece of bait. So how'd you do? We caught another yellowtail. <laughs> Had a great day, great time. Wonderful birthday present. Thanks for coming out. Well, thanks for inviting us. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> that would be true.